The drone world is amazing. If I go down, it will go down. If I go up, it will go up. Hey, that is absolutely incredible. everyone welcome back to another video today i couldn't be more thrilled because right now we are at the shenzhen convention and exhibition center visiting the kind of events that i love the most it's related to technology and this is the seventh world drum congress that is taking place here in the city of shenzhen as you can see there are a lot of people a lot of booths a lot of companies related to the aeronautics and the drone technology. So right now we're gonna go around for a while to check out what kind of new technologies Shenzhen and all these companies are preparing to bring to the market in the upcoming years. Drone technology is super advanced. If you have seen my videos, you might know that Shenzhen is well known for developing and manufacturing super cool technologies when it comes to drones and aeronautics. So come with me to know more about this World Congress 2023. Let's go. I can't really wait for the time where we can actually purchase a drone and go to different places driving our own flying car. This is basically kind of a, a giant drone that if you can drive by yourself, can take you anywhere in the place. I think we're moving towards that direction and China is making amazing advancements when it comes to driving these kind of vehicles where you can just take it and fly over the sky and go from one place to the other. This is a very good example of this advancement I'm talking about. So selfie sticks are part of the past. Now we have drones who can actually recognize our faces and our gestures and follow us to make videos and take pictures. Probably we don't need a cameraman anymore because I have a drone that can do that job for us. It just flies by itself and will follow us and we can just record a video freely. So right now it's registering my face, right? And it's flying and I'm gonna move and it's following me. Actually, you can see the way the drone is moving simply following my face. So if I move backwards, it's supposed to come towards me or if I move to any direction, the camera will focus on my face. That is absolutely incredible. I keep moving. If I go down, it will go down. If I go up, it will go up. I just put my hand down like this and it will land in my hand just like that and stop. It's making a video by itself. I love this feature. You just put your hand down there and it will land in your hand just like that. It's really amazing. It of course has a lot of sensors. As you can see, you can see like some cameras and infrared sensors here. You have the camera and you have the different uh, type of modes or the different kind of functions that the camera has with the drone. It's super light, like I'm holding in one hand and if absolutely, the best part is super portable. Brand is Hover. It is a company from Shenzhen. Really cool. And as I've been telling you, drones are made for all kinds of purposes. This one is a firefighting drone, which means they can help the firefighters to go to remote place and help extinguish and help people. So even rescue, firefighters, police can be used for all kinds of purposes. I think this one is super cool. We're talking about this kind of technologies. Rescue people, save lives. It's an absolutely amazing for developing this kind of technologies.
We are now in a super cool company that I just found on the way. They develop different kind of cameras, the gimbal with the camera for different type of drones. Mm, we are for daytime cameras, yes. thermal imaging cameras, and okay. laser range find cameras, as well as wide angle cameras. The thermal cameras are the ones we are seeing in, in the back, right? Yes. Like those ones that you can actually check the temperature of the body and different kind of objects. In the wild, so you can search for people, oh, animals, they're right. all okay. Also for this kind of like rescues and these yeah. kind of things can be used for that. Super yeah. interesting. One of the coolest uses for the drone technology is for recreational purposes. Right now I am behind what it looks like a football or a soccer court and we're going to play something similar to a football match or a soccer match. I have here the control. We have there the ball right now inside of some drones that are supposed to fly out and go inside the goal. So I will give it a try right now. Here is my drone. Aye, aye, aye. I think it's more difficult than I thought. Oh, it's coming. It's really hard to do it. So I'm trying to make it, make a goal, oh, almost. Yeah. There you go, I made it. The drone world is amazing. We're even talking about different kind of recreational activities that are starting out of the development of the drones. We're seeing right now some teams of little kids that are going to play uh, on a race uh, for the FPV. So right now they're getting ready to show us how to do it. Actually, the videos you have seen on my channel using drones are just regular drones. These are FPV. They go on a different kind of speed, the different uh, kind of controls, and actually they need different kind of skills to drive these kind of drones. We kind of have a little bit of access to the race course where actually people are not allowed to come, but I want to show you guys how it actually looks like. We have a kind of an LED stripe all around the course. You have different kind of obstacles that these little drones are supposed to pass through to the finish line that is just right there. They're going in a very fast speed and I'm super excited to actually have the chance to see these a little race. So we have to go outside right now to see uh, the race. So let's go there. And no drone event is completed without DJI or Dacia in Chinese. This is a huge company that is now manufacturing a lot of different kind of drones. And this is a company that was born here in Shenzhen. They offer a huge portfolio of different kind of products for the cinematic production, aerial views, different kind of articles and technologies that are developed by this company. So we're just checking some of the coolest drones that they can offer and they are showcasing them here in this event. with one of the person in charge of the organizing committee of this uh, World Drone Congress 2023. So John, can you tell us a little bit about this event? Yeah, this is the seventh World Drone Congress, which is taking place in Shenzhen. Uh, we have about more than 500 drone companies which participate in uh, this Congress. We have some other competition which will be taking place in this uh, Congress, which is the drone football. Right. Uh, we, there's a lot of uh, kids will be participating in that competition. Uh, about 50 conferences which will be taking place in these three days. The latest information about drone and also about the uh, products new launch. This is a super interesting event that is happening every year here in the amazing city of Shenzhen. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. 
I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.